Good morning friends. In this video, we will discuss another example for constructing a minimal DFA. Okay. So let me read out the question. Construct a minimal DFA over alphabets A comma B for a long list L1 contains the strings where the each string contains the B. A alphabet B it should be there. So before considering the minimal DFA, I want to find what are the strings which belongs to long ways L1 and what are the strings which does not belongs to long ways L1. So first let me find out what are the strings which belongs to long ways L1. So first I need to find whether the epsilon is belongs to this long ways. Now epsilon does not belong to because length is zero, epsilon is not one because epsilon does not contains B. Okay, so epsilon is eliminated. Can it have A? No, it cannot have A because A does not have the B. So with length 1, only B is allowed. Of length 2, we will see AB is allowed, BA is allowed, DB is allowed. So these are the strings which possible over alphabet A comma B of length 2. We will see of length 3. Length 3 will have AAB, okay, ABA, ABB. Okay, then you have B, A, B, 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 A, then three Bs. And similarly you can find, so these are the strings of length three, then you can find of length four, length five, so on. So first tell me whether it is a finite long ways or infinite long ways. It is an infinite long ways. So if it is an infinite long ways, there is a possibility of a DFA is available. For some infinite long ways, we know, will not have the DFS, we will discuss them in the latter. But if it is a finite long ways, you will have the DFA. If it is infinite long ways, there may be a chance that you will not have the DFA. So let's see whether we have a DFA for this one or not. If it is there, what is that minimal DFA we will discuss. Okay. So now first let me construct the skeleton. Means the basic one I want to draw. So you are in the Q0. If you have seen the B, you should accept. So... From an initial state on B, I am reaching to a final state called Q1. So it is accepted. Now we will see AB. Okay. Or we will see AB. Or we will see AAB. We will see AAB. All these things, it should be accepted. So it even AB, AAB, AAB, all these things are contains the B. So I can say that it is allowed. Okay, so from Q0 on A, you are going to Q0 and you are going to the B. So even it contains this one. So it contains the B. So these strings also should be accepted by the DFA. Yeah, it is accepting. Now we will see on Q1. If I say from Q1, if I have Q0 BA, then what should I do? I have to accept it. A, B, A, I should accept because why? It contains the B. So A, B, A, I should accept. Meaning is that A, B, A, 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 B, A, 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 all these things should be accepted because there you have the B. So I can say that from Q0, if you see this one, Q0 on A, you are going to Q0, Q0 on B, you are coming to Q1, Q1 on A, you are going to Q1. So I can say that it is reaching to the final state, it is accepting. Even A, B, A, A, it will be accepted because if you are reaching Q1 here, after Q1 on A, you will go to Q1 itself. So even here also it is accepting. So these are the strings are accepting. It is okay. Now we will see A, B, then B, what should I do? A, B on B, what should I do? Or A, B, 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 B like this or A, B followed by any number of Bs. What should I do? It should be accepted. Is it clear? It should be accepted. If you see that A, B, B, whether it is accepting or not. Q0 on A, you are going to Q0. Q0 on B, you are going to Q1. Q1 on B, you are going to Q1. So, it is reaching to the final state. So, it should be accepted. Any number of Bs, it should be accepted. Now we will see what are the strings which we have written, whether all the strings are accepting or not. Single B is accepting. A, B, it is accepting. B, A, it is accepting. B, B is accepting. 
Now we will see AA. AA, whether it should be accepted or not. It should not be accepted because AA does not belong to this long base L1. So if we construct the DFA for this long base, what are the strings which does not belong to long base L1 should not be accepted by the DFA. So we will see. I am in state Q0, initial state. On A, where I am going? Q0 on A, I am going to Q0 itself. Now Q0 on A, again I am going to Q0. So Q0 is the state we are going after reading the AA from the inputs in, input state called Q0. Whether Q0 is a final state or non-final state? It is not a final state. So it should not be, it is not accepting and it should not be accepted. Okay, no problem. We will see AAB is accepting or not. A, A, B is accepting. A, B, A. A, B, A is accepting. Then A, B, B. A, B, B is accepting. B, A, B. B, A, B is accepting. We will find one string which does not consist of B. 3S. 3S it will not accept. Is it clear? If you see that any only the thing is that which does not contains B is that all the A's. If you see that all the A's, single A or two A's or three number of A's, it will not accept because it will be there in the initial state itself. So those strings will not be accepted. The remaining state strings will be accepted which belongs to long base L1. So I can say that for this question, this is the minimal DFA. I hope you are understanding the concept. If you does not understand, I request you to watch 2-3 videos so that you will understand in a better way. Thank you so much.